a three-thread stitch is usually used for decorative sewing. When working with a three-thread stitch, you will use the left needle if you want a wide three-thread stitch, and you will use the right needle if you want a narrower three-thread stitch. Today, I will use the right needle only, so that means I need to take out the left needle. To take out the left needle, the first thing I'll do is I will clip the thread from the left needle. I like to pull my thread cone completely off and set that aside so it doesn't get caught. I will now use the little Allen wrench that comes with your speedy lock and go over to the needle set screw. I will grasp the left needle with my left hand and turn that little Allen wrench until the needle comes out. What you will notice is the needle has a round edge as well as a flat side to it. When you replace the needle, I'm going to slip that back in, I make sure that the flat side is toward the back. And again, I'll tighten down my needle set screw. And you want to notice that the left needle is a little bit higher than the right needle, and that's the way it's supposed to be. So make sure your left needle is just a little bit higher than the right needle. Now let's remove our left needle. And I'll set that aside. And I'm now ready to begin with my three thread sewing. You can use a three thread stitch as a finish for a seam. Let's go ahead and seam finish this other side. I'll place my fabric underneath. Now make sure that your differential feed is back to its normal setting. Begin surging, and I'm just going to surge right along the edge. And what this does is it creates a nice finish for the seam when you want a flat open seam. You're now ready to make a pico edge as well as a rolled edge on your speedy lock. To make a pico edge on your